everybody. So today we are going to go over how to access an API using React and Redux. Uh, today we are going to be accessing a color API so that we can change the color of this box here. So pretty easy, but these concepts are very much applicable to other APIs uh, that you may want to access and the concepts are the same. So uh, if you haven't reviewed like what Redux is, uh, go ahead and review the documentation at redux.js.org. Um, and here you can kind of review the uh, theory and how everything sort of like functions together. We're not going to be getting into that in this video, uh, but we are going to be showing you how to set everything up um, and everything. So it should be pretty great. So the API that we are going to be accessing is a color API and it's C-O-L-R dot org. So it's color without the second O. So this here is a free API. There's no keys, so we don't have to mess with config or anything like that. Um, and it just sort of like breaks color down for you. You can uh, see an image here, breaks down the color scheme. Um, it also has other colors here uh, if you're looking for some inspo for different colors. But what we want for this project is going to be the color has an API. So we need to look at that API here. And here is a list of links uh, that to access different endpoints that they have for their API. Um, and they sort of like break it down for you for like different information that you may want. This one's for a specific color. This one is for like random, random seven colors um, and different stuff like that. But we just want one random color, which is this guy here. So if we click on it, we can see that it does give us a random color, but this is JSON and it's in a really hard way to see. Uh, I can't really read that. Uh, it's pretty hard. So what we do is we are going to download a simple tool called Postman and it helps us see this. So if we just Google Postman API and it's up here at the top, Postman, go ahead and click on it. And if you don't already go ahead and download this. It's a really handy tool. It's free. Uh, it's pretty great. Um, yeah, so don't be confused by this pricing business. It is free. So, and that's all we need it for. So I already have this downloaded. So I'm just going to open it up. Awesome. So this just lets us access different API information um, to do things. So the API is already in here, but um, Postman does let you do like the full uh, crud of information. So create, read, update, and delete. Uh, today we're just going to be get, uh, getting the information or reading the information uh, from the API. Um, so mine's already in there, but let's go back here. And let's grab this URL, let's copy it, go back to Postman, and then right in here, we are going to paste it. Mine's already there, but it's pasted. And then when we hit send, it's going to give us back information. Okay, cool. So it's still in that unreadable nonsense, but if we go here where text is and we hit JSON, it breaks it down into a much more easy to read format. Um, so it does give us here uh, the different names. So these are all the same hex color, but they just happen to have like different names. Uh, it's just sort of how this API is run. Um, so it has like timestamp, ID, hex, name, all sorts of information coming out of this one URL, this one call. Uh, the information that we are going to be focusing on is the hex color because that is um, how uh, websites like read color is like a hex number so we want that um, also down here at the bottom this new color is also the hex color for some reason this API that's just the way it's set up we're actually actually going to be accessing the new color just because it's less typing to get to but it's the same information uh, so again if we hit send we're gonna get a new color back look at that country summer uh, and it gives us an entirely new 
uh, color, which is great because that's what we want. So every time we hit that color button, it's going to be getting us a new uh, hex color here. So every time we hit our button, it's going to be new. Boom, just like that. Great, so now that we know how to access our information and we can see our information, let's go ahead and get everything set up in React.